While most of Central Florida students went back to class today, some kids found out last minute their first day was canceled. O'Galley High School in Melbourne sent out the alert saying it was due to a power outage. As New 6's James Barbero updates us, crews are still working to fix the problem. As the thermometer on its front sign reads 94 degrees, O'Galley High School loses power on the first day of school. It looks like they've got a generator running. There's some cool air coming out of the office, but all the lights are off. And several hours later, Brevard Public School says FPL is still working to restore the power. After school activities Thursday are canceled too, but the district still expects Friday to be a normal school day. FPL says it's also still investigating what caused the power outage. Parents talking to us think bad weather last night may be to blame. I mean, it's what it is. We just roll with it. Um, they ha we have the storms and the lightning happens. So first day of school, not happening. It is a little bit of an inconvenience, but it can't be helped. You know, <laughs> we did have quite a, a lightning storm last night. So while Nikki Randolph says her kids don't mind one more day of summer vacation. Were they upset to not be in class the first day? Think so. their <laughs> Miranda Lassiter's son says he was disappointed. It feels a little bit weird, you know, like not being there, feeling that first day energy, you know what I'm saying? So, was there anything you were looking forward to, seeing friends or sports yeah, activities, anything yeah, like that? Yeah, all that stuff, seeing people after summer on the first day, you know. One of those parents speaking to us told us the district called and emailed them that school was closed at about 8 o'clock this morning. The district thanked families for their patience. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, Getting Results News 6. That would be a little bit of a letdown, the one yeah. day you're really looking forward to. <laughs>